Hey everyone, Derpy here, back with another Battle Pirates video, and this is my level 129 using my newly upgraded U1 Praetorians. I'm tired of hitting the level 133 of players complaining about the level 133 because it sucks, and I agree. So I'm going to advise you to not hit that target and instead hit the level 129 and I'm getting 20 minutes of damage with an unfinished, non-fully upgraded fleet. My technique here, as you can see, is I'm moving originally to the right and then I'm going to go around the whole target in a big counterclockwise circle heading left. And I'm going to drive one ship separate from the others as a tank. Now this only works if you have one ship built as your primary tank and everything else as your damage dealers. At least to get the same level of results. And this works because it reduces splash damage that you take and means that most of your damage is only going to be on your flagship. Now, I'm finding that this is the about the average ship length that you want between ships is one or two ship lengths and a little bit less if you can drive so you're not heading directly behind your previous one because you need to be close enough to still deal damage while your first ship is taking damage but not be too close so that you end up taking a lot of extra splash damage. Some splash damage is okay because you do have 5 minutes instant repair on each backline ship. I will note that this is not autoing the target and you're taking more dam you're taking more damage if you choose to auto this, but this still works fairly well and it's going to be how I'm going to do my Forsaken mission. I do have a creeping death crew on to boost building damage as someone advised me in one of my Facebook comments on the level 133, but I decided it would work well in this target also. Other crews like Molotov Maidens, Hellfire Heathens, or Steelheads should also work fairly well. Again, I'm just heading through the, the entire target here. You just want to keep one ship ahead of the others and take most of your damage on your flagship. My flagship is built to take more damage. This was my build I used in the level 130s with a little bit more armor added on. It's still not fully finished and it does have four ships that you won, which is not necessary, but it is going to help out a little bit. We have not seen upgrades for the flagship yet, although I will be expecting those in a month or two as a wild guess. Going through the target here, you can see it's fairly simple to drive and you can complete it fairly quickly, so it's not, not that hard to do. I'm going to show you my build in a second, but if you are enjoying the video, why don't you just leave a like so that lets me know that I'm helping you. So the damage here looks to be mostly explosive with very little penetrative because of things I resisted and shot down. Total damage you can see on screen there for 7 million points, but I think we can get it lower and you can see that the damage I'm taking is going to be cut down because my back 4 ships should all be instant repair or very close to it. You'll notice that the ones that are not quite instant repair have a little bit less armor, specifically they have less explosive armor than everything else, so I think that, that if I keep going through the FM and keep spending 25 million on one plate of armor per week, that I'm going to be able to add armor to all the ships here and take instant repair damage, or if I just drive a little bit better, then I can take instant repair damage on the back four. But as you can see, it's about nine seconds of waiting, which is not that big of a deal for me whatsoever. This is driving it, and you will have to pay a little bit of attention. You can't do your forsaken mission while doing something else, but you will have to focus only on that. And my flag has a total repair time of 20 minutes, which I think is pretty good for 7 million points. Now, I'm going to go over my build really quickly here and show you that. I will make a more detailed video covering my build coming out later this weekend, and that will have the build codes in it, as well as my thoughts on the direction of the build and how I'm going to finish it out here, because you'll notice I have a few discrepancies on some of my ships. So, like I said, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like. If you want more Battle Pirates videos, you can subscribe. And if you have any comments on anything in the build, anything in the video, go ahead and leave a comment below. I will answer you, especially if you put it on YouTube or Facebook. I will make sure to get back to you. But as always, this is Derpy, signing out, helping you be a better pirate.